so it's hard to believe, but in less than one week, this view here will not be our view anymore. You never know where the ride of life is going to take you. There's no reality here on Earth that is permanent. Everyone has to check out sometime. And if there's one thing I've learned in my 45 years of life, it's that things can change fast. What you've grown accustomed to your whole life can change in a moment. And we've come upon one of those moments once again, but this time by our own choice. Good morning, everybody. I got my cup of coffee. It's time to read the Bible and get the day going. Here we go. Throughout my life, I've had a solid anchor for my soul, not found in any circumstance or situation around me, but found in the unchanging words of the Bible, the very words that guide and direct me. They have led us to this point in life, and they continue to lead us to greater things. Living away from our home country of America has been one of the greatest and most rewarding challenges we've ever faced. But every once in a while, you're able to step back and see the progress we've made along the way. Another day, another walk along the river. <laughs> oh yeah. Soon, in one of the most dramatic displays of winter to spring, these sakura trees, the cherry blossom trees, will be blooming here and it'll be just gorgeous. And it always amazes me how it goes from such a drab, wintry look, right launching into spring. It gets warmer, and that's coming up real soon. But it's not just the seasons that are changing here. There's a season that's changing for us as well. Yeah, listen, dude. What's up, Fada John? You ready for school? Who you got there? He's the one from Australia. He won it. Oh, chick from Australia. Sweet. Whoa. Are you going to leave any left for school? <laughs> You're going to have to fill it up again before going, huh? <laughs> in the year and a half we've lived in this apartment, we've squeezed every last centimeter of space out of this place. We've been hoping and praying for a place with more space in this area to rent, but they are few and far between. That is, until recently. So Ruth, you've been busy. Yeah, would you believe we're moving again? Oh man, as, as if it wasn't enough work the first time. So we're packing. We have maybe a third of the boxes packed. Wow, all right. Same moving company, so they're like, not the same amount of boxes as last time. We said, yeah, because everything we put in it to bring here, we're going to put in it to take out. <laughs> so we're very excited. We're staying school district, so that's nice for our kids. Girls, why are we at home? No school. No school? Oh, great. <laughs> So the whole grade. Yeah, <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, at least you've been able to help, huh? What have you been helping with, Becca? Packing. I've been helping. Packing. You see. Singing, actually. Okay, that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mommy, did you even notice it? How about that, dude, huh? Mommy didn't notice it, and then Richard said, we're here, and look, I was getting the coffee. And when I looked outside, it was snowing. I was like, Mommy, it's snowing. <laughs> it's snowing. That's a good morning for Kotatsu. And I love that cat song. <laughs> Life changes fast, just like the seasons. One day it's snowing like winter, and the next day it's sunny like spring. Life doesn't just stop for you to move, it doesn't even slow down. There's still school, work, and meetings. Sometimes there's even a wedding cake. Trying my hand at wedding cakes. Wedding cakes now, huh? Whoa. There's a lot of flowers on there because 
it's going to be a two-tiered. So I think I'll do a, a lump like this on the base. I'll have the first layer of the lump like that on the second layer and then the thing on top. As each day passes, the moving day draws near. Not only does all of our normal work have to get done, but we have to work ahead in order to be able to pull off the move. And that doesn't even include all the additional work that comes along with moving. I'm working on my last video that I'm going to do in this place. This place right here has been awesome. For the last year and a half, I've set up shop here in my little studio, I guess you would call it, in my office, a separate small apartment that we've been renting. But now with the new place, my office will be able to be at home. We'll save the money that we're not spending here and we're putting it towards that house. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and right behind them, oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> whoa, was that fun, yeah. or just kind of fun, we did it, you did it, you Come won, on, get out of drive already, <laughs> We're taking a break from all the packing and all the craziness to come out, enjoy a nice day, and have fun here. Boy, if that were a real fire, people would have to wait a while for you to get there. <laughs> oh. But not all of the vehicles here at Kyoto no Mori Park were toys. I'm going to be the driver. You're going to drive this bus? Yeah. <laughs> what in the world? Yeah! Uh, where are you going to take everyone, Joshua? Take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take it. Yeah. McDonald's. McDonald's? <laughs> of course. Okay, passengers, please put your okay. seatbelt on. Okay. Ticket, ticket. And please give me the ticket before you sit down. Your air, air ticket. Getting to play in all these real retired vehicles with friends is a fun experience. Wow, dude. Look at here. Look at the gear shift. I know. It's the perfect distraction from moving. You got the floor is lava. Okay. The floor is lava game. Yeah. Oh no, Sarah. This park is wild. This is like where they bring all the old buses and trains out to retire. And you can just play on them. Like they have these buses. They have these trains here. We're about to go check out the sakura, the early blooming sakura, see what's coming here very soon. Can you sing a pretty sakura song for me? Yeah. Sakura is boring. Boring? Oh, we'll have to edit this. I see it every day of my life. You don't see it every day of your life. You see it for one week a year. Well, two weeks maybe. I see it like every single day. It's not like, wow, that's so beautiful. Like, yeah, I see that. Hi. But it's hot. That's fresh water if I've ever seen it. It almost looks like cactus seed. You know, I'm sure those have cleaned the water enough that you can drink it. Get some water here. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. Now go kiss your wife. <laughs> some varieties of sakura, like these, bloom early, and it's fun to get out to see them. Wow, portrait mode of Las Chicas. <laughs> Man, look at this. Frame that. I feel like I'm following a photographer around. Just Working it, it, girl. That's right. The adults, at least, maybe not Sarah, but the adults are big fans of Sakura here. <laughs> oh. 
The fun time in the sun in Sakura got us to forget about all of the move for a bit. At least until we got back to the apartment. Good child. Not too much longer here, huh, Sarah? Yeah. What's the packing update? I don't really have a packing update. <laughs> My house is crazy. <laughs> I um, have packed non-essentials. Oh. But as you look around my house, I still have a lot of stuff to work with. Lots and lots and lots and lots. It's over, almost overwhelming at times. When it came to packing work, Rebecca was Mama Chun's right hand person. You like the taping part though, Rebecca? Yeah. Yeah? But this house, it was a surprise. Like, Here, put this all in there. It was a good surprise though. If you're surprised we're moving, imagine our kids, because we didn't even tell them we were applying to rent this house. It wasn't until all of the primary paperwork had been accepted that we took them through the house for the final approval. Without hesitation, they fully approved. What do you guys think? You want to move here? Yeah. <laughs> Thoughts of living in a larger house motivated us through the whole process of I moving. The that I own. <laughs> I only, I only use the lightest no, one. You know what? We're gonna get rid of that because there's no room for it. Saratan, it is such a beautiful thing you're making out here. Can you please tell us what you're making? An octopus. An octopus. Nice. Oh, it looks so good, Sarah. They could these be tossed? Toss them. Okay. Toss. Do you need this? Do you need this? And so things continued to get packed or thrown away. And as the weekend approached, we set aside time for Paz Church and family as well. We needed to be fully recharged for a moving week. As I headed to Paz early on Sunday morning, I walked alongside the neighborhood stream lined with Sakura to see if they would be blooming soon or not. There's all kinds of people out today. Everyone's ready for these sakura to bloom. We're just waiting for it. While the sakura wasn't ready yet, there were a number of things already in bloom, including the atmosphere at Paz Church. We're ready for spring here. We're ready for spring out here as well. <laughs> oh. Nothing beats a day outside on a nice day. It's just the thing we needed before moving week. And it can raise a ripstick just about any way you can imagine. The next day would be a big day for sure. You could say it was a key day. What'd you make at school? Show, show us. What? Is it an otter family? Noise. What's the breaking news today? We get the keys today. What? Yeah. And the day after tomorrow, we are moving. Oh. Tomorrow we can Oh. <laughs> So last Monday morning we have this view. Isn't that crazy? This has been a nice part about living here is this view. That's for sure. Oh, it's cold. Do you feel how cold it is? <laughs> What's the blown over there, huh? Okay, I'm going in. It's cold, dude. So, Mama Chum, what's the... What's the update here, the packing update? <laughs> I, I don't think anything's changed since the last time. Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Ask me tonight. Oh, all right, all right, sounds good. <laughs> and now, it's all messy. Cut the camera. Cut. Well, today, internet is getting disconnected at my office, so I'm going there to get ready. And I'm packing everything in the office, because later today, when I get the keys, I'll be moving all my office stuff to the new house. Wow. How exciting, crazy, this day has finally come. Without this extra office, there's no way I think we could have downsized from our other place with the suitcases, with camping gear, with my musical equipment, all that kind of stuff. 
between the two places we've made it work. So we're looking forward to it all being in one place now. But it means I gotta get everything out of here and get it over there. Okay, I cleared out this little crawl space. I think maybe it's made so people can sleep up here, but for me to try to fit in here? Here, let's see if I can do it. Ooh. Oh, I guess I could if I needed to. I could sleep like this. <laughs> From quarter to quarter, it would work, I guess. <laughs> Good thing I never needed to do this though. My goodness. Well, here's the last two bags. Gonna take them down over there. And let's do this thing. Well, last time I was here, it was to sign the papers for this new place. Now I'm here to pick up the keys. Here we go, very exciting. I signed for the keys at the real estate office and thanked the agent that worked with us. It was time to head back home, our new home. And I knew just who wanted to go with me. Guess what I got? The keys for the new place. I got my keys. I'm going to drive the very first load over and see the place empty, make sure everything's in order. And then it's going to be time to start unloading some things before my day. No, is that new? No. Oh, it smells new in here though, doesn't it? This is new. Is it? Oh, wow. Ooh, everything looks nice. Yeah, there's no power yet. Oh, wow. This is one of my favorite parts in the house. Oh, wow. Yeah, because we don't have power yet. No power yet. Welcome home, Ruth. I sure hope the power gets turned on tomorrow. Because, what if I did it wrong? Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh, that looks nice but too, doesn't it? Pretty. Yeah, that's all right. But it looks nice. It does pretty. look nice and maybe even new, huh? It is new. Whoa. Oh, yeah. It's all safety at school. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for the Oh, it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's so excited. Oh, and how big this sink is. I know. It's so nice. Thank you for moving. It's really big. But it's good. So we don't have our stuff in it yet. It's only 10 centimeters more. But it's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. What did you think, guys? It's amazing! It is awesome, huh? Our new house. What? Who do you come inside? For move week, the blocks took over feeding our crew. And as if that wasn't enough, they even gave us a royal housewarming gift. Well, Ben and I, we just did it. We finished the move. There it is. It's all done. Move is done. We can, we can move in. Well, the morning of our last full day has come. You guys are going to school. Daddy and mommy. No. No, what? Sanjupu. Oh yeah? Just Sanjupu? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that's so fast, huh? <laughs> What's the plan today, Stan? Well, I wish it was a nap. <laughs> Finishing the house. Finishing that house. Look at our room over here. It is like packing central. We still have the coffee maker. Oh yeah, we will not forget the. We will not forget it. Last moment. We're gonna need it tomorrow morning, honey child. Tomorrow morning, I need it to start early. Four. 
<laughs> Hopefully not that early. I got five. After the kids' quick visit to school, they came back and started lending a helping hand for the last day of packing. I tell you what, the moving crew is working in full force here and things are really starting to look like we're moving. We're moving tomorrow. Whew. Oh, curtains coming down. Yeah. Oh. Anna Cakes dancing around. Sarah, has got two seats under her. <laughs> oh man, it boxes, boxes everywhere. While Ruth kept things moving at the house, I made preparations at the new place. We got the office set up. We got the kids room in order and the storage room in order so that when the movers come tomorrow, they can just move boxes in and we're good to go. Now time for dinner and our last night at our apartment. Woo! Well, even though we've only lived here a year and a half, it is still kind of surreal that we're moving out. This has been a great place to live, and it's been so cool to get to know the neighbors here, and fortunately, we're still living nearby, so we don't have to say goodbye to all of our neighbors, but it will be a big change going from an apartment to a house. Wow. I think I am almost done. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. She packed the whole time. She packed the whole time. I believe it, cause look at this. There's a hallway. Oh my goodness, there's a tiny, tiny little hallway in there. This place has certainly been a very picturesque place for us to live. I have loved the views here. One thing I think I'm really gonna miss about this place. That and being able to throw out trash just any time of the day, that's very nice too. During all of this, our friend Allison was visiting from the States. She was our last house guest in the apartment and our first in our new house. Everybody's enjoying one last evening here, huh? Yes, but I'm freezing because I packed up the blankets. The kotatsu, it's all in here or over here. Oh my, well at least Master Chef still works. <laughs> It's here, moving day. Whew. I didn't really sleep that well last night. Pretty excited and thinking about all that's going on today, but here we go. Not so little littles, isn't it crazy? Yeah. We're starting the day with all of our stuff. In this. In this house, by the end of the day. Ginormous. In the ginormous house. Yeah, which is two floors that one. Two floors, oh yeah. The movers were coming soon, and so the last things had to be packed. A lot would be happening in both places at the same time, so we divided the crew up to make it work. Rebecca, how's it going way over there? It looks nice and warm, huh? <laughs> Aren't your feet cold? Yeah, Ruth's over at the other place right now, so she can be helping the movers get the stuff, and I'm here on the receiving end. But it's not just the movers that are coming today. The gas is getting hooked up, the power is getting hooked up, the internet is getting hooked up, and it's all happening this morning. <laughs> Back at the apartment, the movers were busy dismantling and moving beds and other large pieces. Ruth had a front row seat. Well, the girls' room actually looks large. Now that there's nothing in it. <laughs> oh, why? So crazy. Wow, my bed's gone. I walk out and look, there's my stuff right there. Right there. <laughs> it was well into the afternoon when the movers took the first load over. Wow. It's going. It's going. <laughs> it's exciting. Okay, well, the first round is done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was well past four o'clock before they were ready to get the last load and the sky was looking ominous. Ooh, the weather looks really nasty over there. Fortunately, it hasn't come this way. I hope we can just hang on to this good weather for the rest of our move. We still have a whole nother load to go, the rest of the stuff that's in this house, and then we'll be done, but <laughs> it's a lot of work. As the dark clouds moved in, our things still hadn't moved on out. When we first moved into this apartment, the whole move was done by 3 p.m. Now at 4.30, we still hadn't started the final load and I was getting concerned that it would be a late night. Here we go. They have stuff lined up real well. Our refrigerator 
and some other things and then all these boxes yet to go still. All the rooms have been done, so that's nice. Little wild seeing it like that. <laughs> As the movers worked on the pile, it did indeed rain. I guess the apartment was sad to see us go. Well, fortunately, as fast as that storm came in, it left, and we're good to go. And with that, I enjoyed some of the last views of our apartment while it was still our apartment. The movers kept whittling away at the move while the evening set in. I did all I could to stay out of their way and make sure they could move us as efficiently as possible. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a long day. They just finished the last load packing up here in the apartment. It's empty and now they're heading over to the house. And I'm gonna go over the blocks to get some food while Ruth directs them where to go. Woo! <laughs> the movers stayed busy into the evening, moving our stuff into the house. Moving is not an activity for the faint of heart. Well. <laughs> Yes, here we do. The freezing, huh? The kids found little places to wait out the move. By the time the last mover left the house, it was 9.15 and we were ready to crash hard in our beds. Now, if only we could find the coffee maker. Okay, well. Bathroom. The roll blankets. Used. And the good guy was organizing the other ones. He had all of my labeling facing out. <laughs> oh, man. On the next episode of Life in Japan, we begin a new chapter of our lives and start getting settled into our new home. The girlfriend has found some coffee. Hot chocolate for the kids. Oh, hot chocolate. Duck, you have to come sit at the table, though, baby. But another huge thing happens just as we move in. Looks nice. What are you working on? Cake for the wedding. Gonna serve cake to weddings. Wow, Ruth. Is this your first wedding cake you've ever made? It's fun. Might be my last. <laughs> Don't come asking for a wedding cake, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs>